Hi, welcome back to Cheyenne, Wyoming Urban Gardener. This is Debbie. I know it's been a little while since you have heard from me, all the holidays, and we had sicknesses in the house, and all kinds of things kept me from being able to do a whole lot of recordings and things like that. And right now, with it being winter, there's not a whole lot that we are doing outside because it is just so cold. We are gearing up to get ready for planting seeds, getting those things redone, and uh, started and things like that, but it will be a while. Right now, all I am really focused on is transplanting houseplants, clippings of houseplants, and um, propagating houseplants, all kinds of things like that. So I've got a few things that are going on here with just clippings and things. And then, of course, we have our indoor tomatoes, which we have been harvesting on all winter long and you can see they are quite beautiful this one actually turned out a lot larger than they're really supposed to and I did find that if you trim these indoor tomatoes these are called orange hat tomatoes that sometimes they will sucker they're not supposed to sucker but they do and um, they will produce more tomatoes than they're supposed to this one is one that had actually split and then it started producing um, some little side shoots and they came to fruition. And as you can see, they are growing tomatoes and still blooming on top. So you can trim these back. Um, I just basically did a little bit of trimming at the bottom and then of course took the split off because the split had actually uh, had died away because it was the first part that had produced. So then I just went ahead and let the new growth come on and it did produce tomatoes. We're also growing a few little cilantro on the inside of the house in some grow pots, but you know, they don't, they don't get as big as they do outside typically. And then we've got some marjoram started and some basil and things like that inside, just so we have a little bit of that all throughout the season. We've got some uh, fuchsia cuttings here that are starting to go to root. And of course, you can eat the leaves, the flowers, and a whole bunch of and the fruit on these fuchsia plants. But we just use them for decorative purposes. But we've got some cuttings there that we've propagated. Those are getting started. And just in general, just working with the plants on the inside and preparing for seeds. You can see that we've already started getting our soil inside. Um, things that we're going to be able to get done. Oh, and we've got some mushroom kits. I found a couple of those on clearance. And um, we have pink oyster mushrooms and regular oyster oyster mushroom, mushrooms. And hopefully those will get up and going pretty soon and we'll be enjoying some harvests on those. We just put those on the racks about a week ago, so they haven't started doing a whole lot yet. Um, you have to soak them and all kinds of things to get them to uh, start. And that's another one of my fuchsia plants there. And as you can see, we are just preparing for seed planting. We've got a bunch of our seed starting trays in here. Just kind of getting ready to go. I still think it's a little bit too cold, even on the inside, to start any starts right now. Um, we will probably kick it off with celery starts because typically those take the longest and perhaps some Brussels sprouts because those do take a long time as well. And one of the new things that I have gotten this year, I've not worked with in the past because I haven't needed them. I've never needed any type of grow lights or anything, but we're going to give it a try, see how it goes, see if it works a little bit better. So we got some grow lights here and we're going to just basically attach them to our growing racks and get those up and started. And then we will give that a try on maybe some of our tomato plants and things because tomatoes do tend to want a little bit more sunlight. So otherwise we just have house plants that we're working with at the moment and getting ready for the seed starts. So I hope everyone is doing really well out in the world, wherever you are. So like, subscribe to the notification bell for notices on new videos as they come out and we will see you in the next one.